Good morning. Today I'm going to update you on a few things. I'm going to share with you my empties and will I repurchase them or won't I? And before I start all that, I'm probably going to do some chit chat. So I will put those time things in here that if you're not interested in the chit chat, you can go to the section you are. And I'm also going to announce two winners, but I'm not going to put that in there because I got scammed one time. So I'm not, don't ever put anything about winners in my title or in the special section. So as far as updates, this may be the last video I film. I'm not sure. There may be one in two weeks. I'll just have to wait and see. I had several questions when I talked about being desensitized to nickel. The doctor I'm going to does not do that. So just a little back history. For a couple of years, I've been trying to get the Watchman device implanted in, an, in the appendage in my heart because I'm on Coumadin. Long story short, the Watchman is not gonna work. There's something called the Amulet, and I'm being tested for nickel to see if that is an option. The Watchman just won't fit my area that it needs to fit. And if I am allergic to a certain degree to nickel, then I have another option, and that would be to go to Springfield and have the appendage that's in my heart, have it removed, cut out. So anyway, I was so excited that I thought I was gonna be desensitized to nickel and that I could wear costume jewelry, but I can't. And I just wanted to clarify that because I had quite a few questions about that in my last video. I do not know, I'm gonna put it up here somewhere, how long it's been since I have filmed in my very favorite pajamas. And anytime I wear something on here, I would say 999 times, 99 times out of 100, it is something I have owned for a very long time. And I can't tell you how long I've had these pajamas and they have been my favorite. They were a gift from my sister and I'll write the brand of them up there. They're a good brand. I've had several pajamas by this, I think it's Carol Hoshman, H-O-C-H-M-E-N. But I just love them and I just thought I am going, this may be the last time that I can film in my pajamas this winter. So I wanted to wear my favorite. And I'm not wearing any makeup on my skin. I have, or primer or anything. I have on mascara, navy eyeliner in the upper waterline. And my trusty Je ne sais quoi lip gloss that I've loved forever. And I buy them whenever I see them and they're usually on sale. Now I want to talk about my empties. Some of them will be boring. I know they will be, but I'm going to go ahead and start with some makeup items that I finished up and uh, and go from there. I finished up the It Cosmetics, the Je ne sais quoi in the stick. They have, they have the Je ne sais quoi in so many different things, but I used the lipstick up. I used up the Milani Plum Rose. I didn't dig it out, but I, I used it up. I've been, you know, I, I use something on my lips all the time. I love the Milani Color Statement lipsticks. I finished up, I think this is Color My World, and this just, I didn't care for it. I mean, it was okay, but a lot of people love it. I have 68-year-old lips, and a friend of mine, Monica McGillicuddy, also has 68-year-old lips, and she loves hers. I really wanted to like it because it is a very good company. I finished up a lip pencil from It Cosmetics, and it is Your Lips But Better. I have enough lip pencils, I wouldn't repurchase that. I finished up a Laura Geller lipstick. I don't own a lot of what I consider neutral lipstick. Most of mine are the pinks to the berries to the reds. So I did finish this up and use my lip, line, lip pencil to get it out. I finished my second tube. I think this is Rose Julep. It's Buxom, love Buxom lip glosses. I store mine upside down so I can get every bit of it. I take the little stopper at the end and then I just use this to get out the rest of them. And if I really like the applicator, I will wash it and I'll put it in my drawer in case I buy a lip gloss and I don't like the applicator, but I have enough applicators. But I would say 90% of the mascara wands and the lip gloss wands fit in many different brands. This is a Jack Black lip balm with a 25 SPF. I like it, and if I needed one with an SPF, if I didn't have any more, I definitely would repurchase. I buy these a lot for my grandsons, and, and I think it's just a really good lip balm. My last empties was like the 1st of September or the last day. It was like end of August versus September. So I have my 
summer superhero that I threw away, my fall, and uh, I'll be throwing away my winter. I keep them three months. I don't have any trouble with eye infections. That's just been my practice that the first day of the new season, these get tossed and I open a new one. And I, I love superhero mascara. I just put six or seven or eight swipes on each lash. I don't go back in and I just, it lo I love it. And I don't do my bottom uh, eyelashes. I just do my top. But I've loved this since it came out. And Susan, that used to have a channel here, Susan W., we both fell in love with it on the same day, right when it came out. And I, I know it was in February, but it was a minimum of four years ago. And with the exception of buying one drugstore brand, I, uh, I just stick with it. I think they sell for $25, but I always watch for a deal, and I get mine anywhere from 10 I think 10 to 11 to 7 or $8, depending on where I find the deals. But, you know, I love good deals. I used up a Grande Brow. This lasted 38 weeks. I opened it on 4-16-21 and replaced it on 1-6-22. And I just use it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I really like what it's done for my brows. I don't have to use anything on my brows. If I wanted to be fancy, I could, but I, I'm happy with them the way they are. And I've already replaced this and I have a backup. And what I'll do is I'll just wait, watch for a sale. I will look, watch for the points from Ulta, and I won't do one right away since I have a backup, but I will with the Grande Lash. I, the Grande Lash, I use Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I opened this May 1st, 2021, and I quit using it just on 3 9 22, so it lasted 45 weeks. I, uh, I must have missed a little bit in there. I thought I did it every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But I was really surprised that this lasted that long. So I've already opened my new tube, and that's what I'll put on my list. After like three months, I'll start looking for a deal. If I see one before that, I think I, I do have a discount code for Grande Lash, and I bought all these myself. But a lot of times, like if you click on the link, they may have a better percentage off. Or I'll tell you, the Ulta, when they have, if you get emails from them, and they have the five times or ten times points, that's where I really do very well. And I may link a video in here to show you how well I did uh, last year, the end of last year. I went ahead and replaced all three of my derma rollers. I have a, I use a 1.0 millimeter on my scalp. The 0 0.5, I use that once a month on my face. And then the 0 0.25 millimeter, I use that every Sunday and I haven't beefed it up to do it. I was gonna do it on Wednesdays too, but I'm a slacker. I really am a slacker. So I buy mine from Skin Diva. I have a 20% off, but a lot of times they'll have 25% off, and I bought all my new ones when they had a 25% off sale. And if you click on my link and they've got a better sale, you'll get the better sale. So anyway, that I will tell you, I saw on Timeless website, they now have the individual needle derma rollers, and they're $10.99. I haven't tried them yet, but they look exactly like what I'm using. They only have the 0 0.5 millimeter and the 1.0 millimeter. When I order some stuff from Timeless, I will get them, but my $5 off code does not work on accessories. So I'll wait until I need to order some things from them, and then I'm going to try their derma rollers, and I'll let you know. But I was happy that they started getting the real needle derma roller. And I'll put a derma roller video up here and then down below so you kind of know what I'm talking about. But I've been derma rolling for, oh, six years or so. I still use the Nutriox on my scalp after I derma roll. And the only time I don't derma roll my scalp is the first time I wash my hair in a month, you know, in the, in the month. That's when I use that Color Wow Dream Coat. So I use this every other shampoo. And it, it seems like they last about a year. I don't know if, I'm not gonna quit using it. I mean, everything's going really well right now and I'm not gonna rock the boat. Shiseido razors, always will repurchase those. Okay, this is the Revita Lash Cosmetics Volume Enhancing Foam. I've talked about this in previous videos. The first one lasted 138 days. I'm using it in two areas right here and right here. I purchased this, it's over $100.
and it did so well, I purchased another one. And my hope is that I'm just gonna have to use it in one area every other day. That's my hope. But I'm gonna continue using it every day right here and right here. And I'm still doing the grande here. I started that on January 1st, and I'm not ready to give my results yet. I think it's working, but I am not positive. I used up my Amazing Grace that I have got I got for Christmas some time ago, I think the year before last, and I think it's lovely. I rotate several different bath products. This is a shampoo, bath, and shower gel. And what I when I worked, I've, I've had this for years. I mean, not this one, but I've had purchased them a lot in the past. And when I would wash my hair, I would, at the very end, I would put a little bit of it on my hair and rinse it out. And my hair smelled so good. People would stop and ask me, uh, pull your hair, what kind of shampoo do you use? But I didn't know if it was really good, good enough to do the whole shampoo in my hair. I'm not gonna repurchase it. I would be very surprised if I didn't receive it as a gift for Christmas or my birthday. I'm gonna talk about this. This is a hydrating lip plumper. I finished it, I took take off the top, I get all of it out. I used it a couple of years ago every morning and every night, and I did see some fullness in my lips. I'm not willing to do that anymore. I mean, I'm not. I, I use it, I've repurchased it, I like it, but I recently ordered some of the City Lips when they had a buy one, get one free, and I think what I'm gonna do, I see a lot of these before and after pictures with uh, City Lips, you know, my lips, like I said, are 68 years old, and I wanna see, I've got like three different things or four different, and I'm gonna do some before and after and just see if any of them really do plump up my lips. I'm just curious in that way. I just, yeah, I'm gonna check it out. I finally repurchased the Shiseido Facial Cottons. They're 660, I cut mine into quarters, and I just like put them in my drawer like this. Well, here's a whole one, this is what I use. I think they retail, if you just get them not on sale for $12, and they last me all over, well over a year. So I will definitely repurchase these, and if they're not on sale, it's fine with me. I have tried some of the others that people have recommended, and I have found nothing that feels as good on my skin as this. And it just absorbs the right amount. It's just, it's perfect for me. Dermatology Tinted Moisturizer, I will repurchase that Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream definitely will repurchase. I bought this again. I had opened this on 3-15-2020. I just, a couple months ago, ordered a new one. There was still a little bit in there, but I thought, well, I've, it's had it today. And I only, the reason I, it lasts so long is I use one drop and I just put it in my marionette lines right here and right in here. And I don't wanna be without it. The Timeless Eye Cream, the Hydrating Eye Cream, I go through one every six months. I always repurchase it, and I will as long as they make it, because I think that is what has helped my eyelids. They're not, and like right in through here, I really do. I, I, I think it's something about it my skin likes. I bought another Kakai Naturals. I, oh, I, it was $38.70. My discount doesn't work anymore, but I needed a new one, and I use that every other night on my neck, and I use it on my face one day a week when I derma roll. So it one bottle lasts a year and a half or so. It does last a long time. And I really like the secret sauce, and I use that at night when I need it, and a lot of times if, if my skin doesn't feel like I need it, I don't use it. If they, I ordered something a couple of months ago, I have it, and I need to check my stash on this, but I'm gonna try something else because I'm afraid that they may quit making this and I wanna have something that I'm ready for. But my skin really likes it. It just hydrates it enough. It's not sticky. It absorbs and for me, it, it does have a secret sauce. The two items that I won't repurchase, this was given to me and it's a 10% ferulic acid by Timeless. I use their 20%, I either use Timeless 20% or Skin Diva 20% because they have the exact ingredients in the same order. And the Skin Diva is in a dropper bottle and the Timeless is in a yellow pump. This is a 10%. I used it on my neck um, and I used it all up, but I but I know I won't do it. I, you know what I mean? I know what I'll do and what I won't do. But this is a really good option 
anybody that the 20% was too much. And another one, this is another one that uh, I won't repurchase. It was excellent. It's a dermatology, vitamin C plus E plus frulic acid. It has really good ingredients, but it's a lot more expensive than the Timeless or the Skin Diva. I do have a discount link and code for dermatology, and I think mine's 20% off. But when I ordered something a couple months ago from dermatology, they had a bigger percent off than mine, so I got it. I always want you guys to get the best deal you can. Today, and now I want to announce the winners of my last giveaway. I purchased these items to give away, and I purchased it from BK Beauty. And the first name that was drawn was Sherry D, and she requested the brushes. And this is a lovely set of brushes. I'll show them to you real quick, because I've, I've got them too. This is a brush I was telling you about, the 101 that I like for foundation. It's the only brush I've ever liked for foundation. And then there's a powder blush brush and some other brushes, so that's in there. And then Lisa's True Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. Uh, both of those are unopened, and th those will be going to you, Sherry D. Congratulations. And the next name that popped up on Random Comment Picker, picker was uh, Joyce Suma and she received five lipsticks, so congratulations, Joyce. Make sure you leave a comment below, and I'll let you know how to get in touch with me. It is all good. I know everything that's going on in the world, but I will tell you, as long, personally, as long as I have God in my life, it is all good. I don't know about you all, but I watch YouTube videos to try to get my mind off things. Sometimes it's really rough, and it's been a rough two years. It really has, but it is all good. I appreciate you so much, and I learn a lot from all of you. You have taught me a lot, and, and you're very, very, very much appreciated. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. To dedicate, no, I'm not, but, you know, it's okay. Fit in all different. So it, but I've been doing it for many, but I would be surprised if I did not, re I would, or my birthday. And 